Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Let's do a tent review and specifically let's talk about the Perea Outdoor Products Bryce One Person Tent. Now I've got the two person version of this tent as well and more or less the one person is a scaled down version of that two person. Still giving you a lot of living space inside of the tent. We'll get into the dimensions of it here in a second, but overall really pleased with the value aspect, the budget aspect of this tent at $150. It's a great way for somebody to get into a lightweight tent that uh, doesn't cost a lot of money. And that's a, an issue I think in the outdoor uh, industry right now is it costs a lot of money to save a lot of weight uh, in your backpacking system. And I feel like the three and a half pounds that you get from this tent for the $150 price tag is a great compromise for not spending too much money, but still saving a bit of weight and still having a bunch of uh, living space inside of the tent. Now quickly to talk about some of the, the features and dimensions and whatnot of the tent, you got a single door front entry uh, to this tent as opposed to a side door with a, a vestibule. You still obviously have a vestibule, but not, uh, not a ton of vestibule space here. It is a uh, like hub design pole system where you've got a hoop around the front, hoop around the back, and then a single ridge across the top. That does give you 36 inches of peak height and 36 inches of width and then it's 85 inches long. So you've got a lot of living space. And if I compare this to another one person tent that I've got, the Xped Mira One, that thing is about a pound less than this tent in total weight. And it uh, sacrifices some of that living space. So you've got some features to that tent, but the fact that I've got 36 inches of total width in this from front to back is really great for somebody that um, like me that may backpack with a dog and I want to save some weight without carrying a two person tent hitting that four or five pound range uh, and also not spending a ton of money. That's the, uh, the general theme that I'm trying to, to accomplish here with this review is $150, three and a half pounds of weight. You've got a fantastic, good budget, lightweight tent that is going to be reliable and work for a long time. Now I took this on a four day backpacking trip last week to Capitol Reef National Park, had it set up on Slick Rock and in the wind, and it just really, really performed as, as, as about as good as I expected it to. And so let's go ahead and talk about all the features of it. We'll uh, look inside the tent and kind of talk about uh, the things around it. So what we'll do is go ahead and open the door to the tent here. You do have double slider poles on this, which the nice thing about this is if I've got this all the way uh, zipped down, I can use this uh, as a way to vent, but still uh, have some kind of weather protection on there. So I like having the option of two zipper poles on the door. You do have guy out points on these uh, pole systems as well. And then the door just, easily rolls back and with the standard tent uh, system of what you see basically on every tent uh, that is there to uh, close the door. So you've got enough headspace here that if I open up the body door of the tent, I can actually sit here, cook, hang out, do the things that I need. This gives you an idea of roughly how much vestibule space you've got in the front of the tent. So I can put my shoes off to the side, I can put a little bit more gear over here. And the nice thing is I can get in and out of the tent really easy actually. So now you can see that in the, the doorway of the tent here, I've got plenty of space like I said before. I've got side pockets here that are pretty high off of the base of the floor, which is something that seems kind of trivial, but I actually really enjoy having pockets that don't rest against the, the bottom of the bathtub floor. But I've noticed that uh, the height of the bathtub floor is probably like six, seven inches in height. And that's really, really nice. So I'm gonna flip around here, kick the dirt off of my shoes a little bit. It does come with a, an included footprint, which is really nice. But with that 85 inches of total length, I've got plenty of, of space below my feet and above my head to be able to uh, move around. And if I really needed to, I probably could get two people in here. 
but that wouldn't be ideal. But if I've got a dog or something, I've got plenty of space here to be able to put the dog as well as uh, hold the gear that I need and all of that. So inside of the tent here, you've got a full mesh body. So this is going to be a true three season tent. I would not use this in four season winter type of camping because it just won't uh, insulate enough and keep you warm enough. I've also got a hook here at the uh, peak center of the tent, which allows me to hang a lantern or a flashlight, a uh, headlamp and whatnot. So I've got the two pockets, plenty of space, rectangular shape, and then at the foot end of the tent, I've also got a vent, which I'll show you here in a second, but just really, really happy with how much space is inside of this tent. For a one person tent, it really fits the bill of being comfortable if I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time in the tent uh, to wait out a storm, that kind of thing. Just overall, really psyched about the size of this tent. So now let's go ahead and just take a quick, more uh, detailed look at the inside of the tent. You can see that bathtub floor, nice and tall, which is gonna help with any kind of splashback. You've got that hook here in the center of the tent, which is gonna allow, again, to hang a lantern. And then these side pockets, which are nice and high off the ground, with plenty of space to be able to put whatever gear you need to hold inside of the tent. Now, if we take the rain fly off and look at the body of the tent, as well as the pole structure, you'll notice that this is not like a unique design by any means, but it is something that uh, is effective against high winds and weather. And so just showing you how the body of the tent connects to the pole system, you've got these clips that just pull on and pull off, make getting the tent set up really fast. Just a cool setup. Now one last aspect of this tent that I want to show you guys is the fast pitch or the more minimal style of pitch that you can do with this. So I can save a bunch of weight and leave the tent body behind, which this is again, not something that is super unique to uh, this particular tent, but it's great to see this uh, ability with the included footprint to be able to do a pitch without the body of the tent and do kind of a summer type of, of setup or when you don't have to worry about bugs and you just want a little bit of wind and weather protection, I can do a pitch without the body of the tent and save that weight and space in my pack and just get that benefit of having that extra protection. And if I'm not the kind of person that enjoys like using a tarp, for example, then I've got uh, a really cool setup this way to be able to do without the tent body when bugs aren't something that I have to be worried about. So that is the Perea Outdoor Products Bryce One Person Tent, a overlook of it, a little review to talk about how this thing works. What I really enjoy about it is just the amount of living space in it, how big it is for a one person tent. Do I wish it weighed less? Yes, but there's trade-offs for the amount of living space as well as the modular aspect to it. And as much as it costs, that three and a half pounds is actually a really great weight. And I think that the ability to save weight on it, it's just a great option. And I honestly just don't have very many negative things to say about it. It's well made, it's gonna be reliable and a great shelter and I've already enjoyed it for the uh, the nights that I've spent in it so far. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that little bell to get notifications of when I post new videos. If you'd like to support me in other ways, check out my Patreon link down in the description. And as always, have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video.